Hey friends, so today you are going to need your volume one math book. You are also going to need your math notebook. So we are actually going to skip the video today and we're just gonna take notes together. I think the video is a little confusing and my notes will help you a little bit more. So we are going to switch gears and we're gonna go back to multiplication today. Um, and we're gonna think and talk about even and odd numbers. So have your notebook open and let's just kind of review what we know about even and odd numbers and then we're gonna look at the patterns of multiplication with even and odd numbers, okay? So let's go ahead and think about even numbers. So numbers, we wanna talk about even numbers are digits and that's zero through nine, okay? So when we think about even numbers, those numbers can always be divided by two with none left over, okay? So even numbers always have a partner and there's nothing left over. So for our notes, we wanna say digits that can be divided by two, you see that okay? With none left over. So what um, numbers are even numbers? You should be able to tell me that as I write them down. Zero is an even digit, two, four, six, and eight, okay? So we wanna always make sure that the digits that have these numbers are even. But what if it's a big number like this? or an even bigger number like this. Don't freak out. If you look in the ones place, you always look in the ones place. If the digit in the ones place is a zero, two, four, six, or eight, it's even. Even if it has a million numbers in front of it, you don't have to worry about any of that. You just worry about the number in the ones place. So let's also put always look in the ones place. Okay? That is going to be the top secret clue to help you. All right, so even numbers we know have partners and you can divide them by two without having anything left over. Well, what about odd? Those are digits that cannot be divided by two and there's always going to be something left over. If we tried to split it up into groups or have a partner, there'd be one left over, okay? So odd are digits that can't be divided by two. With none left over. Okay. So what are the odd digits? So you should be all the same as I write them. One, three, five, seven, and nine. Same thing with the even. We always look in the ones place to figure out if it's even or odd. Okay, so see how I did that? I put a little arrow. All right. So that was just a refresher. We should know even and odd numbers. That should have been pretty easy for us. But now we're gonna kind of look at some patterns. So what if I take two even numbers? 
So what if I do an even number times an even number? What's the answer going to be? Do you think it's going to be even or do you think it's going to be odd? Well, let's pick two even numbers. What if we did six times four? What does six times four equal? And you should be yelling 24. All right. And I remember Mrs. Harp said, always look in the ones place. Is four even? <gasps> hmm. So the pattern right now is even times even equals even. Let's try one more. Let's just do an easy one. Two times six. Both of those are even. And what is the answer? Two times six you should be yelling is what? 12. And then we want to always look in the ones place. Is that even? Yes. So what's the pattern? Even times even equals even. Well, that's pretty easy. All right, what if we do even times odd? What do you think? So let's do even times odd. What's that going to equal? Well, let's pick an even number. Let's just do an easy one. Let's do two times one. We've got our even and we've got our odd. What's two times one? You should be yelling that to me. Two. Oh, two's even. Hmm. Let's do a bigger one. Let's do four times seven. What's four times seven? 28. Always looking in the ones place. Mm, do you see the pattern here? Even times an odd is always going to equal an even number. What about odd times odd? What do you think the pattern's going to be there? Well, Let's do an example. Let's do one times three. What's one times three equal? Three, right? And we know three is odd. All right, let's always, we always want to try two. Let's do five times seven. What's five times seven equal? 35, we're looking in the ones. Is five even or odd? It's odd. So odd times odd equals odd. So these are our patterns we want to remember, okay guys? All right, we are going to put that close by and we are going to get our volume one math book and turn to page 135, 135. We're going to do one and two together, and then I'm going to send you off. This should be pretty easy for you. Go ahead and read number one while I read it out loud. If you multiply two even numbers, will the product be even or odd? Well, we just did that. If you look at the notes, an even times an even number always equals what? Even. It will always be even, okay? It says explain with an example. If you wanna write a multiplication problem with two even numbers, go for it. Even times even equals, your answer better be even. All right. Let's go ahead and do one more together and then I'm sending you off on your own. So write or circle to complete the sentence, then solve, okay? So they want to look at four times six and they're wanting to know if it's even or odd, right? Well, let's look. Four is what? Let me get a little bit bigger for you. Four is a what? It's an even number, right? What about six? Six is also even. Well, we just learned even times even equals an even, all right? But they want us to dig a little bit deeper. Can four be divided by two? 
Can you divide four by two? Well, let's see. Four divided by two equals what? Or what times what equals two? Or sorry, four, what times what? I just told you the answer. So yes, it can. Can six be divided by two without having any left over? Yeah, three times two equals six. So yes. So then, is four times six even or odd? Well, we're gonna skip down here and we're just gonna solve it. What is four times six? It's 24, right? And you're gonna remember Mrs. Harp always said, look in the ones place. And four, you already told me, is even. So four times six is even. Because even times even equals even, right? All right, so you are going to do the next part. It says circle the factors that can be divided by two. So here's your factors. Can you see it? Yep. Here's your factors. Can either of these be divided by two? Well, you're gonna have to see, okay? Then it says, write even or odd to describe the product. So I'm gonna give you a little clue. I want you to do this one first, then I want you to do this one, then do this one. So how about we'll do it one together, okay? So can nine be divided into two equal groups. Well, let's see. If I drew nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <gasps> there would be one left over, right? So no, that one can't. What about five? One, two, three, four. <gasps> both of those are what? These are both odd. And we know an odd times odd equals what? Do you remember? Let's check. Let's skip down to the second part. Nine times five equals what? 45. If we look in the ones place, you just told me five is odd. So nine times five or 45 is odd, okay? So you are actually gonna do four and five by yourself. And remember, you wanna do one, two, then three. Do it in that order. One, two, then three, okay? You're gonna do four and five. Then you are going to, on the back, can you see it? You are going to do six, seven, and eight. And then down at the bottom, you're going to do 12, and 13. Make sure you pay attention to 13 because it says that do not have even products. No discussion post today, okay guys? Make sure mom and dad check that and I will see you later, even Steven or Odd Todd. Which one are you? All right, bye.